Okay, so we've done the chocolate donut and we've basically gotten a feel for how to make the base donut colors. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing again, but this time I'm going to do a maple bar down here. So again, I'm starting with burnt sienna, quite a bit of water. And I'm going to start with the bottom edge of the donut. And remember, we're imagining that the light is source is coming from the right hand side of the paper from my perspective here. I'm going to wash out my brush. And I'm adding some water parallel to that line I just put in. Okay, I have a paper towel ready and very quickly, before the paint has a time, has the chance to dry, I am blotting up some of that pigment. So you can see that I'm left with a nice light stain of color. Next, I want to go back and do a light yellowy dough color. So I'm picking up the white and I'm going into this color that was a mixture of yellow, burnt sienna, and burnt umber. And I'm mixing some more of this light yellowy doughy color. And some more white. I'm just going to bring this up a little in the middle. I'm not trying to cover everything. And on the back side, I want to bring in a little more sienna. So I'm mixing some burnt sienna into that. And I'm pulling forward. And I want to put some of this above that yellow. I think I'll pick up a little more burnt sienna, and I've got it pretty watery. And then back to that light white doughy yellow. Okay, I'm going to leave that alone and we're going to go to the maple frosting and we're looking for a pretty neutral tan. My burnt umber is gone, so I'm adding a little more. So I want it to be less yellow than this because it's not going to look right. We need the, the color to be a bit more distinct. Because when you really look at one of these maple donuts, the distinction between the frosting color and the icing color and the donut color, it's, it's a subtle difference. And I might even want to add a little bit of black. That was too much, I think. Let's try that.
And I think that looks about, about right. So I'm going to start laying in this icing. And I added a little bit of water to get it to flow, but it's still fairly thick. And I'm going through this relatively quickly because, because I practiced it yesterday and kind of figured out what I was doing ahead of time. So it might take you a little bit longer and that's okay. Take as much time as you need. And if your paint seems to be drying um, too fast, you can always mist it with your spray bottle. So I'm going into that same color again and I picked up some white and I'm bringing it up again on the highlight side. And more, and then I'm adding more white into the same mixture. And a little more white. I'm just adding progressively more white. Now I'm going to pick up my script liner. And I'm going right into the white. Then I'm just going to add a, the brightest highlight in a few places. Try not to go too crazy like I just did. And if it looks like it's too much, you can just blend those parts out. So something I want to do is I want to pick up a little bit of this burnt umber and I'm going to add a little bit of a shadow underneath the side of the icing and then with a wet brush I'm going to blend so it doesn't look so hard. I might even pick up some of that watery burnt umber and just add a bit more dark. And adjust it. And down here beneath the donut I want. I want a little bit more dark again, so I'm going burnt sienna. And then wet brush. I'm blending and softening that. And this needs to be a little deeper, I think. It's kind of like I got the bottom of this donut a little bit wonky. So 
so I might adjust that some more. Maybe a little bit of burnt umber back here. A little more water. And if you do don't something that you don't like, if you do do something you don't like, you can, if it's still wet, you can usually pick it up with a paper towel. So I think I'm going to pick up a little bit of this. It's just a bit too strong. And sometimes you think, oh, I've got it too dark. And really, if it's, if it's a watery layer, you can pick it up. So the last thing I want to do is, again, put down a shadow. So fairly wet brush. And I'm going to go back to the same shadow color. You know, remember from the chocolate donut that it looks stronger, but it's fairly wet and I'm going to pick it up. Just be sure to only pick up the area that you want to pick up. And I'm tapping. So this is a, a grayish brown color, I guess. You can get creative with your shadow color, so. I'm just going with neutral. So there's our maple donut. And you can spend more time fiddling with the perspective and making it a little bit more fancy. But for time purposes, I'm gonna leave that and say it's good enough and you get the general idea. So now we're going to move on to part three.